Okay, bandit level 24 to level 25. We have level goal. A demon is listening on port 30,002 and will give you the password for bandit 25 if given the password for bandit 24 and a secret numeric four digit pin code. There is no way to retrieve the pin code except by going through all of the 10,000 combinations called brute forcing. Okay, so this is an introduction to brute forcing. Uh, it sounds quite interesting and exciting. Um, so how do we go about starting this sort of problem? Well, I think we should probably try and connect on this port and see what happens. Um, so we're going to use Netcat and it's going to be to localhost and on 30002. Okay, we have I am the pin code checker for use at bandit 25. Please enter the password for bandit 24 and the secret pin code on a single line separated by a space and it's now sort of allowing us to input something. So I still have the uh, the password for Bandit24 on my clipboard. So I'm just gonna copy, oh, oh okay, I exited because of how long I was taking because I was chatting. Okay, so I'm gonna paste and put a four digit pin code and hit enter. Okay, it just tells me I'm wrong and lets me put it in again. So let's just try Okay, so it seems like we can just put in try after try and it's just going to tell us we're wrong. Um, it's not going to kick us out or anything like that. So that's that's um, interesting, okay? And it's good to get hands on with the program um, that we're sort of trying to exploit just so we can get an idea of how it works and, you know, that kind of thing. So now how do we, we've got to start thinking about how we can how we can input all of these combinations. Obviously we could do it by hand or by ourselves, but that would take a long time. The whole point is to, to figure out a way to automate this um, so that the computer does all the hard work for us, right? So we're going to have to make some sort of script um, and we're going to have to play around with this connection a little bit and see if we can figure out a way to to automate this process. So let's have a base folder again. Let's make a directory in the temp in the temp directory. Um, let's just call it brute. Why not? And let's cd over to that temp folder so we can start. So we can start thinking about how to do this. Now, the way we have to approach this is we're going to have to redirect or pipe something along those lines into the, the netcat command, right? Uh, that's the way we should be thinking. How do we, how do we sort of redirect this information, like all of the possible attempt, like all the possible combinations into netcat in one hit? Um, so I'm thinking piping, like something something along those lines, right? And another thing that we notice is that, you know, we wrote a line, we hit enter, and it processes that line and says that we're wrong. So one thing you might want to try is like having two lines, um, sort of feeding two lines into it and seeing what happens, right? So let's try that. So how are we going to feed two lines into it? Well, we need to have the a file with the two with the two lines already made, and then we're going to cat to read the file, and then pipe that into the netcat command. So that may have sounded a bit confusing. So let's just let's just give it a go. So let's just make a list.txt file using nano. Okay, and I'm just going to put that and that. And at this point, we're just playing around, right? We're going to save it, and we've got list.txt. So now that should be in here. Yep, good. So now let's try count that list.txt and put the output of that, which is the two lines, into netcat.
perfect, right? That's great. It has tried what appears, it appears to have tried each line. It's tried to evaluate each line, both being wrong. Um, but that's 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 the sort of behavior we were hoping to get, right? So now what what we should be thinking is, okay, we just want a list of every possible um, every possible combination, yeah? Uh, so how do we go about doing that? Well, this is where we're going to want to make a script uh, because the script we want to make a script that's going to that's going to create this list for us. So let's remove our list. Uh, and instead, let's make a script. Let's just call it script.sh. Brilliant. So we start with the shebang and bin bash on the top line. Now, because we're just going to be repeating um, and we know how many times we want to repeat, that's going to be a for loop, yeah? Um, you know, we have for loops and while loops. Uh, we normally use a for loop when we sort of know the number of times we want to repeat something. So let's try that. So for i, so we've got this index i in, and now here's something um, in Bash called brace expansion. Um, it's really smart. We can use these braces. I'm sort of going to write this in and explain why it's working. So this this notation here means that if we had if we kept it like this, it would do i and it would start at i equals 0 then go i equals 1 then go i equals 2 all the way to 9 okay now what's it? the little trick here is that if we were to do this this brace expansion would do every possible combination or it would do 0 and 0 from here it would do 0 and 1 0 and 2 0 and 3 you know and so on until 9 9 so by doing this we get every possible combination of two numbers from 0 to 9. And so we can just do that again. And so this is something that you'll just learn. Like brace expansion, you can see when it's going to be applicable, right? Um, and yeah, this is this is just one of those instances. So we've got 4i, and this is going to give us every four digit pin. And then we do do, and then I put a tab. Um, and we want to echo and the string we want to echo is the password for bandit24 space and then dollar sign to signal we want to use the variable and we're going to be using this four digit pin which is i okay um, and where we want to put this is we want to echo this information but we want to make it into a list so we don't want to finish this, but we want to put it into a list, redirect it into a list.txt. Now, if we only used one arrow, every time this command happened, it would delete, it would like overwrite list.txt. So we, at the end of the, um, the for loop, we'd just still be left with one string um, with 9999 at the end. So what we do instead is put two arrows, and that will just depend. Um, to list.txt and then we finish our loop with done um, now I forget if we need a semicolon or not after this four I don't think we do but we'll have a look so this is the script so it's quite simple right and we're gonna click control and X and then Y and then enter so now we've got our script now we need to make it executable So now it should be blue, which it is. So now we're going to execute it. And something happened there. There was a pause, right? So something has happened. So if we ls, we now have this list.txt. And if we use cat on this list.txt, you can see we've now got a list of all of the uh, possible combinations that we could try. Um, and so this, this looks like gold, right? So now all we have to do is cat this list, which is going to take every single possible combination and pipe it into netcat localhost on port 30,002. 
and hit enter. Oh, you can see it's doing stuff, it's doing stuff, and bam. It's hit the correct one, and then the program has been set to exit once it hits the correct password, which is perfect for us, because otherwise it might have been in the midst of, like, thousands of um, wrong, please enter the correct PIN code. So this was a bit of a lucky break, right? We might have had to re-adjust uh, our code, but we haven't had to, so let's not worry about it. So just like that we have the password for Bandit25. Now I hope that made sense, I hope the for loop makes sense, and I hope that the piping that command into Netcat made sense. It's just a case of a little bit of trial and error, figuring out how things work, and just playing around with the, the commands, and that's the best way, at least at least I'm finding that the best way to, to get to grips with how to approach these problems, is just playing around and not being afraid of just trying random different things um, until something works. So there might be a better way of doing this but this is just the way that I found and yeah I hope that it, it helps you if you're watching and let's carry on go to Bandit 25. See you there.